Praise the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua, the Almighty. I just want to give this message real quick because there's a lot of deceit going on. We in the last days. It said, many shall come in my name and say, I am of Christ. It shall deceive many. The worst ones are not the ones that come from the outside. It's not ones from false religions that try to turn you over. It's ones that came from the inside, the cancers. that They, they grow like a tumor. And they try to grab healthy Christians and healthy cells and corrupt them to become part of the cancer. So, you know, there's a video going crazy right now. It's on World Star. It's on Facebook. It's on YouTube. And it's about a, a guy who he says he was a pastor. Oh, wait. Actually, he said he was a pastor, a minister, a dancer, a, a rapper. Bro, you was the whole ministry, huh? What was you, you the usher too? You do the announcements too? You clearly see he was in need of attention. And what happened really is he's mad at God. So now he's taking shots at God. The same way when Satan was cast out of heaven, his tail drew a third of the angels with him. He wanted to take others with him. This is what these cowards do. Yeah, you a coward, bro. You turn your back on Christ, kiss him on his cheek as you betray him after eating out of his plate. You a coward. You reprobate. I pray, I pray you ain't fully reprobate that you can hear this message and repent, homie. Because once you put Christ through an open shame, I wouldn't even pray for you. That's what the Bible says. So anyway, you know, he claims he was a pastor and he sought the Lord with tears. The Bible says Esau sought the Lord for tears too, but didn't move God. Because God knows what's in a man. Just because you're in a in a car garage don't make you a Corvette. Straight up. You can go to church. You can you can anybody can grab make a ministry. Anybody can get a Bible doctorate online for, you know what I mean, a hundred dollars in about a month and do a test, get a suit, save up money, open up a building, and now you're a pastor. So what? Who cares? That don't validate you. Paul was an apostle by God and from God, neither by man. So let's establish something. Followers of Christ all on the earth Stop acting cowardly Stop being quiet It's time to sh take shots at the devil Why are we always on the defensive And we got a sword What's the point of having a sword If you ain't gonna strike back Now we don't fight against flesh and blood Right that's what Ephesians says But we fight against principalities and powers I'm fighting the demon that's in that man I'm saying devil you a liar in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind your powers. So, let's talk about a few things. First off, obviously something happened. He caught feelings. He, he wandered away from Christ, ever how close he was. And instead of studying Christ and getting intimate with Christ in a spiritual way, what did he do? He was up online on YouTube till 4 in the morning. Watching videos about Horus and other religions and one thing led him down the wrong path and now he got bewitched. Just like Galatians chapter 3, foolish Galatians who has bewitched you. He got caught up in a spell. Witchcraft is real, y'all. You got to pray and fast against witchcraft. Spells are real. And if you ain't living right for God, they can work. Trust me. So anyways, he got bitter with God mainly for three reasons. I'm guessing one of three. Guarantee it. One, his sin. Most people come against God when their sin gets exposed, right? Or what they're doing in darkness, light gets shined on them, and now they don't want any parts of it. Because everybody loved walking with God. Everybody loved walking with God until God shined a light on you. So anyway, it's either that, or he an undercover sodomite in Romans chapter 1, cut him to the heart, and he got offended. Or either that, or he caught up in, the, in in black pride. Black and white pride, it don't matter, it's both evil. Having pride, period, in yourself is demonic. The Bible says pride comes before a fall. So it's either one of those three things that got him turned away from God, trying to take everybody else to hell with him. Well, I'm here to say I rebuke his lies in the name of Jesus Christ. He is a liar. His father, the devil, is a liar. And the word of God is real. Straight up. Now, we shouldn't need proof. Because when you buy a cell phone, you don't tell the person at Metro PCS, well, prove to me how my voice goes to uh, Shanae down in Miami. 
prove to me how my my conversation goes to Chris all the way in in, in, in um, San Francisco. Prove to me. We just buy the phone and hello. There's no wire, nothing. But scientists just tell you, oh, you know, it's a, a signal and there's satellite. But you don't even question that. Look at the air you breathe. You can't even see it. You driving 80 miles an hour. Well, if you're doing the speed limit, you're doing 65 on the highway. And you hit a button and boom, yo, uh, the radio come on. You fall in Babylon. Right? So you on the highway. So how did that song get in your car from a radio station 30 miles away? You don't question that. <laughs> you got to open our minds. To the Lord, I'm telling you, you got to open your heart and let him in. He will change you. But let's talk a little bit. Let's talk about it. First off, if you're a believer of Christ, the Bible says the righteous are as bold as a lion. You need to start standing for the truth. If it's evil, come against it. Now, we don't fight against flesh and blood, but principalities, we know this. Bind up the devil that's lying to people. Come against witchcraft and sorcery. Start to pray and fast. Because if you ain't in this war, man, get out of our way, man. Stop pretending to be churchy. Stop being a pastor if you ain't real with it. If you're not willing to deny yourself, if you're not willing to walk that holy path, it's better you just move out the way. Because what you're doing is you're making Christianity look bad. But there's a remnant right now that's rising up that take the Lord very serious. Brothers and sisters that are done playing games. Straight up. We are not playing no more. If it's evil, we calling it out. We're not compromising. We're not going to bow our knee to Nebuchadnezzar nor the Antichrist. So with that being said, let's talk about this Judas that kissed the cheek of Christ and then betrayed him. First off, he was never a pastor. And he contradicted himself with his own words. He said, well... If you were my friend, and if you were cool with me at one point, and now you no longer want to walk with me, that means you were never my friend to begin with. You condemn yourself with your own words because the Bible says in the letter of John that they were of us. They went from out from us, but they were never of us. Same, same thing, homie. Same thing the word is saying to you. If you walk away from Christ, you was never of him. You was you was a coward in disguise. You was a wheat in the midst. You was tear in the midst of the wheat. So get out of here with all of that clown stuff. You're emotional. Something happened to you, and instead of running to Jesus, you was pretending to be Christian. Secretly, you hated Christ. Cause why would you be looking up videos that prove him wrong in the first place? You know what I'm saying? That's like a wife who knows her husband is loyal and faithful. If she watch a, 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 a Lifetime movie about an unfaithful man, she don't start searching through his phone and looking for him if he's a fake a husband and a cheater. She knows her man. He's not a cheater. Right? If she's a strong woman, because weak women, they'll be at the job, hear other women talk about their men a certain way, and then they'll start to think about their and men too do the same thing. But if you know your spouse... You don't have to do research. You study them, not the lies. Did you know in the government, that, that when it comes to counterfeiting, the, the, the people in charge of, of, of like arresting counterfeiters, they study the real $100 bill most of the time. They don't study fake $100 bills. Uh, what? You go ahead and look it up. They study the real $100 bill 95% of the time. Because if you're studying all the different fakes out there, you're going to lose track of the real. But if you stick to studying the real, you'll always know a fake. That's why you study Christ. You get to know him personally. That's when you'll always know when a lie comes around. They'll tell you, oh, Christ was the story of Horus in Egypt. What are you talking about? Have you ever, do you know anyone who's a scholar of Egyptologies? You will tell you that's a bunch of crap. It's not even true. Horus got cut up into a mad pieces. And the only piece missing was his, was his you know what I mean? <laughs> What's the proper word? To, his penis. You know what I'm saying? That was the only thing missing. So how that got to do with Christ? What even? <laughs> anyway, let's talk about a few things. Mussolini invaded Ethiopia. During the time Haile Selassie was king. When he, when um, Hitler was killing mad people. Why would Mussolini from Rome. Where the Vatican is. Why would they invade Ethiopia? For what reason? What did Ethiopia do to anybody? Did you know Ethiopia has one of the most ancient texts. That are the same as this Bible right here. 
This proves that it, it wasn't rewrote and rewritten and written by the white man. Did you know that Ethiopian, there was an Ethiopian in the Bible, in the book of Acts, that was baptized into Christ. He went back to Ethiopia and he was, he was a man of power with the queen. And do you know the gospel of Jesus Christ went back to Ethiopia? Ethiopia has been worshiping Christ for 2,000 years. Way before the European white men even came in with that Catholic crap. So what are you talking about? Okay, you say um, the, the Bible was used to enslave us. You know how many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years you were not allowed to read this book? If the Vatican caught you quoting scriptures other than in Latin, which nobody knew Latin, they would burn you. What are you talking about, bruh? You don't know nothing about what you're talking about. Did you know in the days of slavery, you were not allowed to read? It wasn't, it was, listen, you weren't allowed to read because they didn't want you to know this book. He who the Son of Man set free is free indeed. This book would tell you, it would inspire and encourage you that you would rather die for the truth than live for a lie. That's why they had you bound. They would only quote scriptures. Obey your masters. The, the God is okay with slavery. That's, that's what this cow would say. But my Bible in Exodus says, if any man grab up a man and steal him and sell him, put that man to death. That's what God said. The only time slavery was permissible, if you owed money back then, you would go before the judge, the king, and you would have to serve that man for a certain amount of years until you paid off your debt. Even your family would be slaves. God said you'd be put to death if you steal somebody and sell them as a slave. So what are you talking about? You did that to incite people to hate God, you coward. Just because you mad at God, you want to be like Satan and draw other people with you. I rebuke your lies in Jesus' name, you ex-pastor. Never been a pastor. You ain't a saint. You're an ain't. Straight up. And I don't even know if you can be prayed for because you put Christ through open shame. The Bible says if you get a reprobate mind, there's no more repentance for you. So if there's room, Lord, please save that man. But if there's no room, I'm, it is what it is, bro. I'm coming against your lies because you try to incite people to use race to turn people away from God. Christ ain't the God of the white man. He the God of all flesh. Straight up. Straight up. So how was this book used to empower, to, to uh, deceive us and to hold us down? Do you know what this Bible says? It says, thou shalt not steal. Yeah, that's, woo, man, they try to control us. What you mean I can't steal? Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not bang your man's wife. Oh, what, 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 kind of, what kind of white man would make a rule like that? No, that's God watching out for you. You know what happened? If you bang a dude white, he will kill you, man. You know the fire that burn in a man when you, you commit adultery with his woman? God is protecting you, keeping you from sin so you can make it into heaven. Jesus said, love your neighbors. What are you talking about? Jesus came to set the captives free. And that's why they didn't want you to know no Bible during the time of slavery. So let's establish the truth. You want facts? I'll give you a couple. I shouldn't have to because we walk by faith and not by sight. Just like you pick up a phone with no wire attached to it and call someone all the way in, 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 in another country. You walk in by faith with that. These scientists, that's a religion too. They tell you 20 million years. How you know? 20 million years, brother? How do you know? Carbon dating. Who created all of that? The Illuminati, the beast system, the Antichrist runs everything on this earth. The Bible says the devil is the god of this world, lowercase g. He controls the media, the news, the papers, Fox News, CNN. So how you going to get truth? You have, you have to look for it. It's hidden. It's like a murder scene. You ever watch like Forensic Files, first 48? More like Forensic Files. They try to cover up a murder. The devil is trying to cover up a murder. The murder of the son of God. He wiping the scene up. He, even in the Bible it says they commanded the guards and the people to say and lie that Jesus Christ was taken. That he never rose. There's a cover up. It's the biggest cover up in history. And if only y'all would know that. But let me tell you just like in a crime scene. Just like in a crime scene, battery light was dimming. Just like in a crime scene, if you shine a certain light, you can see the hidden blood stains. You got to shine the light of Christ and he'll reveal the truth of who he really is. That's a good analogy. 
But let's talk about it. I'll give you a little nugget. No problem. Look up on YouTube. Mount Sinai has been found. Look up Mountain of Fire. Mount Sinai has been found in Saudi Arabia. Not where the Pope says it is. Because Constantine in the Council of Nicaea was the first Pope. That's not when Christianity was started, you liar. I'm talking to you, you fake ex-pastor. Never was. Never was a pastor. You was just someone looking for accolades and didn't get something your way. And now you threw a little hissy fit and now you went to another religion. You ain't getting no rest. There's no peace for the wicked. Remember that, coward. So anyways, Council of Nicaea was the first pope. Peter was never a pope. The Bible, the only council in Nicaea was, was, was Constantine called all the, the, the bishops and, and threatened their life. And say you either gonna get down or lay down. Why you think over 600 million Christians were murdered during the Roman Empire, during the Vatican, during the Catholic uh, Dark Ages? Christians were murdered because we wouldn't bow down to the lies. And it was a lot of white people that were against slavery. And I like how y'all like to leave out the Spaniards like they never had a part with slavery either. See, we got to be fair with this. You can't be partial with this. And what about the Arabs? We're enslaving African people too. Let's not be partial with this. There's righteous in every color. And they're trying to get us to come against each other with race war. And I, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. It's the news, the media trying to spawn hatred. Don't fall for it, I'm telling you. Don't fall for it. Don't fall. I'm telling you. The Bible says nation shall rise against nation. That word in the Greek means ethnos. It means ethnicity shall fight ethnicity. Don't be caught up in pride of your skin color. White power, black power. You're going to go to hell with that pride. I'm telling you. Get it out of your soul. It ain't about that. Jesus Christ is not the God of the white man. It's not the white man Bible. He the God of all flesh. Remember that. But anyways... Mount Sinai has been found. Paul said Mount Sinai is in Arabia in his letter, in the, in the book of Galatians. It was Constantine and his witch mother who changed the maps and changed the, the laws and the days and the holy days so they would hide the truth of who Christ really is. Real talk. So look up Mountain of Fire and you're going to see how Mount Sinai, there's a mountain in Saudi Arabia covered off by the, by the Muslims. There's a fence around it. I wonder why. They don't want you to know the truth. It ain't going to be on Fox News. And this mountain, the biggest mountain in that desert, it's burnt to a crisp from the top halfway down to the bottom. Now, no one can explain that. But if you read your word, it says that God descended on Mount Sinai in fire. And about a stone's throw away from that mountain, there's an there's a altar, thousands of years old. And it has a carved image of a cow on the side of it. What did the people offer to, to, to um, when Moses went up? They offered the, great, the, the, um, the golden calf, right? See what I'm saying? Or I could tell you about uh, Paul the Apostle when he crashed on the island of Melita. They threw four anchors off, big anchors, to try to slow down the ship from crashing, Right? Did you know they found the four anchors from the same place that Paul set sail in their 2,000-year-old anchors? And did you know the historical tradition of verbal stories of the people on that island say there was a man who was like a god who crashed on that island and he taught the people a mysterious gospel of a savior? So don't believe these lies, man. You got to remember something. The internet, it's like Jesus said, there's the broad way that leads to hell and the narrow way that leads to heaven. Most up, you try to look up on the internet, you're going to get into the broad river where you're going to get a bunch of trash. You're going to get a bunch of lies. You got to search out through prayer and fasting to find the truth. Remember, they covered up a crime scene. They bank covering up. They try to get you to believe it's a white man thing. They try to discredit the word of God and tell you Jesus was just a story of horrors. All of that is a lie from the pit of hell. Now, I know I took 20 minutes of your time, but I love you and I'm trying to save your soul. These cowards out here are lying to you. And the devil got him deceived. I pray if, it's, if, if, if God can save that man as well as the others that are deceived, I pray he can save him. Straight up. But some of them are borderline. They're, they're lost. They're reprobate. They might not be able to get saved. Once you go into Christ and then come out and blaspheme him like that, that's scary, man. I don't want no parts with that. So anyway, there was really a flood. Scientists are giving their life to Christ. Of course, you ain't going to find that on the news. But scientists are finding out 
uh, scientifically, archaeologically, whatever you want to call it, they're finding water scarrings all on the earth that there really was a flood at one point. See what I'm saying? Oh, you're like, oh, well, God, God, uh, God was disappointed that he made man. God would never be disappointed. You see how stupid that sound? If you don't know God personally, don't try to act like you know him personally. Because God is a person. God has feelings. God gets angry. God laughs. God has become sad at times and weeped. Jesus is God in the flesh. The, one of the most greatest scriptures I ever read was Jesus wept. That was the verse right there. God in the flesh cried for us because of our lack of faith. We doubted him. The problem is a lot of y'all secretly don't love Christ. I'm not saying all of y'all. For y'all that love the Lord, share this message. Try to get it to people. You know what I'm saying? This is the Ghetto Gospel Ministries, theghettogospel.com. We don't care about being known. We have a message to spread. And hallelujah, get it spread. Spread the gospel in Jesus' name. For y'all that are real, may the Lord give you courage to stand against these liars and stand up for the truth. Stop cowering down. That's a lie. The Bible says, judge righteous judgment. The Bible says, he that is spiritual, judge all things. Jesus said, you'll know them by their fruit. The Bible says, expose the works of darkness. So why are we quiet? Why you let people blaspheme and mock? Goliath was mocking and everybody was coward except the man named David came on the scene. Are you going to be a David or a Saul? That's my question to you brothers and sisters out here that claim to love the Lord. But for y'all that ain't reading, you're not praying, you don't really care about Christ, but you say you're Christian. And I'm, I'm praying for you. Because you catch wind of false doctrines and you watch videos of that fake ex-pastor who's clearly bitter with God and trying to turn you from God. What's going to happen is because you don't really love God, you're going to love it. You're going to actually feed into it. You're be like, you know, I knew there was something wrong with Christianity. I knew it was a white man's belief. I knew the Bible wasn't real. I knew it. See, you got caught up in the spell. Spells are real, you know. Witchcraft is real. If you're not with God the way you're supposed to, that stuff can work on you. If you're living in sin, read the book of Galatians. The people caught a spell. Don't get caught up in the lies, man. The Lord loves you. He wants to save you. He's coming back soon. You got the mark of the beast. Look at the beast system. Everything is coming together. Cameras everywhere. Monitoring everywhere. They're doing away with... um. Tolls on the highway. Every car is going to need a chip. You're going to be monitoring. And that's when the enemy is going to make his move. He's going to say you either get down or lay down. And if you ain't right with the Lord. And you've been thinking you're going to be raptured the whole time. The rapture is going to happen. But you don't know when it's going to happen. Are you willing to put money on that homie? Your soul on that? You chilling? Not fasting? You're not reading? You're just. Oh it's the grace of God. It's the grace of God. It's, hey, listen. The grace of God gets you into Christ. But your works got to keep you in Christ. Faith without works is dead. The Bible says you must go through many hard times to enter into the kingdom of heaven. We don't, we don't get into heaven like it's something we did. But you can't take a... The Bible says, shall we sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Don't turn the grace of God in, into lasciviousness because you secretly hate Christ. You either love him or you don't. I'm pleading with y'all, man. Get to know the Lord. He said, many will come to me in that day and say, Lord, Lord, haven't we done this? Haven't we... Have, wasn't I a pastor, a minister, a dancer, a rapper? <laughs> Jesus would say, I never knew you. Get away from me. You worker of iniquity. These are people that were in the church. It's because they were never intimate. That word knew, when he said, I never knew you, that word in the original tongue means you were never intimate with me. It means you never worshiped me. You never got to know me. You got to know a pastor. You got to know how to put a 20 in the pot. You got to know how to put a suit on. And ba 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 Tongues are real, but a lot of y'all be faking it. Let's be honest. Y'all be saying the same tongues every week. But God bless the ones that truly speak in tongues. But if it ain't your gift, stop sweating it. You know what I'm saying? But you'll come to God that day. I pray he'll say, come on in. Because if you're faking it, he'll say, I never knew you. You were never intimate with me. You never got to know me personally. It's on the inside. Don't put church on the outside. Start on the inside. Don't believe them lies, y'all. I'm telling you. All right? I took 25 minutes of your time, but I believe it was good for you. And pray for me. Pray for me. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, Lord Jesus, help me. Help me in the areas that I'm weak. You know what I'm saying? We all got areas we got to work on, but let's work on them. The, w Jesus Christ deserves our best. Look at all he's done for us. He died for us, man. 
there. I'm telling you, it's the greatest cover up. Christ is real. This is what they don't want you to know is that Jesus Christ is real. He's real. I'm telling you, it's the greatest murder cover up in history. They try to cover up his murder. And when the Bible finally gets out and now slaves that were no longer allowed to read, now we're free in the government, but there's still slavery, it's mental slavery, but now we get to read the Bible and all of a sudden it ain't real anymore. Notice that tactic the devil does? The Vatican wouldn't let you read the Bible except in Latin because they knew you didn't know Latin. But now all of a sudden, this Bible is not really, even even high, uh, big time priests in the Catholic religion, all of that say, well, the Bible ain't all real. See how they do? They slick. It was 100% real when we weren't allowed to read it. But now that we're allowed to read it, oh, don't believe it. It's not real. You see how they lying? You better read this Bible, man. You better cherish this holy word, man. Don't believe them devils, man. I'm telling you. If they can get you to discredit this, then you you done. You got to stand on the rock of Christ. Real talk. Now, that guy, I don't even know his name, but I'm publicly rebuking his lies. If you heard his lies, I rebuke his lies. I break any spell of witchcraft that might be on you in the name of Jesus Christ if you accept what I'm saying to you. It's time to repent and get saved, y'all. It's time to believe. All right? Let's see if this video go. See how quick his video just... I ain't seen one person yet publicly speak out against this trash you know what i'm saying anyways i love y'all stand firm and remember something the lord is coming you look at the signs we're in you, you don't see the the reports of of trumpet sounds being heard from the sky animals are dying by the millions everything the bible spoke about is happening right now and now you're gonna turn away from this you got the football you almost at the end zone and now you're gonna fumble lord please jesus have mercy. Ah, y'all. I could go on. I, 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 y'all call it ranting. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. I could go on and on, man. The light got them up in here and everything. I plead for your soul, yo. I pray. I pray. I pray. You give your life to Christ, yo. For real. It's, it's real. The mark of the beast is coming. They making the microchip right now. Help me push this message out. Put this on your Facebook page. Send this to websites. People need to hear the truth. Because we ain't going to be cowards. You messing with the wrong one. There's real soldiers out here. This is a real war. The Bible says no man that warreth. We got a sword and a shield. And you acting like you don't want to fight for the truth. Then get out of the way and go sit down. It's time for real men and women to stand up and say, we're not going to tolerate the evil anymore. We're not going to bow our knee to the lies of the devil. If God is against it, I'm against it, period. I'm not going to compromise for nobody. My question is, who's with me?